didn't agree with what he was doing and uh, didn't think that he was doing the right thing. And he hung in nevertheless after Rob Portman left. And he has held things together on that side of the aisle. And Chris, we want to thank you so much. And please have some fun.
25 years of working with programming and there's community reentry. It's not the be, be all in God. God, we need some more. More money, more opportunity. But we must make a difference. And I know that there are people as prosecutors and law enforcement. Everybody can get on this. We don't just own it because we happen to be supporters of, of reentry. Everybody can own this and make a difference in the lives of our people. So I'm just happy to be here. I thank everyone for their leadership. And our job ain't done. There's something else we've got to do. Let's figure out what is the next move we can make in this area and put some legislation in place and keep working. So thank you very, very much. Thank you. I mean, as people were cheering, and they were just outstanding, and some of us were wondering, now, what's the next person going to do? How do they follow that? And here comes Carolyn T. Kilpatrick, that has brought a new level of coordinated activity to the caucus. Everybody's engaged. Everybody's involved. A superb winner from Detroit, Michigan. Representative Karen, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Mr. Danny Davis, quiet man with the golden voice, persistent, extraordinary. Danny, we are proud of you. We thank you for your leadership and your passion that we might build God's kingdom here on earth. With the least of these who have found themselves in the prison system, Thank you, sir. Appreciate you very much. All behind us who have worked tirelessly, they could have been doing anything, but they chose this field. We appreciate you. Mark Mauer from Michigan, the when you came back here for the Citizen Project, and all of you, which is what good public policy is men and women working together across racial, gender, uh, political lines to make America stronger. And that's what the Second Act, Second Chance Act does. Drug treatment. America has been strung out for a long time. Through no fault of their own, many of our people find themselves in the syndrome. No one even talks about the drug war. It's still raging. People still need treatment. And this Second Chance Act will address some of that. Education. I believe that education is equalizer in America and around the world. If you have an education, you have some options. If you have none or little, then you're stagnant. Our families, our countries, our communities now have an opportunity with this Danny Davis Second Chance Act. Job training, mental health services, family support, all now available as we have finally passed the Second Chance Act. Passed in the House on the 109th, did not pass in the Senate. Now in the House and the both of the Senate, uh, and onto the President's desk, who is the Congressman said to support this. We can build a new America together, collectively, with acts like the Second Chance Act, worked on by men and women with good prudence who want to see a stronger family, a better opportunity. So and I'm proud to stand here representing 43 members, and some who speak for themselves and heard of the Congressional Black Caucus. Uh, this was one of our top priorities, the Second Chance Act. We're from 21 states. We represent over 40 million Americans in those states. Also, people of color who don't live in our districts. The most any member has is 60% African American. 18 of our members have less than 15% African American. So we represent the conglomerate of America, Asian Americans, Latin Americans, European Americans, Native Americans, Asian Americans, you name it. That's who our Congressional Black Caucus represents. So I'm proud to stand with the coalition and stand with our members and to praise our leader, Danny Davis, for his fine work. Thank you. I certainly agree that our members don't need anybody to speak for them, and this was just speaks <laughs> not only for herself, but for the District of Columbia, which is the heart of the universe. She works as if she's running for re-election.